Okay. Hello. Welcome, welcome to Ginger Cook Live from downtown Houston. Ginger Cook, the acrylic artist, the one, the only, the color of queen, the queen of color. That's it. <laughs> you are it. You're live and in person, Ginger. Thank oh, wait a minute. Tom. Where are you? I need to make you big. Hold on a second. Oh. Let me make you bigger. Oh, good thought. Yeah. Here we go. All right. Hi, everybody. Gosh, thanks for hanging out, waiting for us. We're going to have fun tonight. This is going to be a fun night. I like our title, Kick the, kick the Cans here. You know, Kick the Cans <laughs> Pink. We're going to do a couple of pink watering cans. But, you know, you wouldn't have to do them pink at all. Another good way would have been to do them, say, black and white, a black and white watering can, too. It'd be, you know, you can use your imagination. I just had to do them. I did them pink. But, you know, gosh, they could be any color. Did and, you do them uh, pink because you're a girl? Well, you know, no, it's not that. It's just, oh. uh, I, I'll be real honest with you. Um, I saw a photograph of these pink, and I just didn't feel like coming up with a better idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Honesty works. I mean, you know, I thought, you know, black and white would have been good. You know, actual silver wouldn't have been shabby. But, you know, the pink kind of got to me. I said, you know, that's kind of nice. Um, if I had a watering can, I wouldn't take the trouble to paint it pink, but I might buy a pink one. How's that? I think that's perfect. So anyway, but they're pink tonight, but that's an optional choice, okay? So, um, you know, you could make this as sophisticated as you want. We're going to just invite everybody to kind of catch up with this. This is John Little, the voice you heard with the introduction. That was a fun introduction. We've had some better introductions. Oh, we've got to work on them. we got to work on them. We're going to try something new. We're going to invite you guys to write us an introduction. John will read it on the show and um and give you credit and give you credit so you know you could write you could say something like you know the one only the magnificent the rather extraordinary i don't know just <laughs> something good right <laughs> oh okay it's going to be one of those uh pat yourself on the back nights huh no i'm gonna let other people do it so anyway we got to contact <laughs> us but if you want if you feel like hey, uh, you could improve on john's introduction feel free and he he asked me to write some out and i said listen why well we got some talented people out there maybe somebody feels like it we'll give you credit if you you know, if you write us an introduction, we'll say that introduction was presented to us by blah, blah. You know, blah, blah. Blah, blah. And your name, whatever. And whatever so, blah, blah is. Just, I just had that. That thought hit me on the way home from the car. I'm always full on of good ideas. On the way home from the car. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, from the house to the car. <laughs> and that's a big journey. Yeah, like five feet, but that's what it hit me. And, you know, I like to be accurate. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't hurt yourself in that when you no, got hit. No, no, I didn't hurt myself. No, so that's good. Let's, John, if you would be so kind as to kind of bring the camera back down to the th um, the table, where well, people can get an eye. I we got to we got to draw this on. Now we are on speed tonight. We actually have a traceable on our website. How can they find that, John? Um, go to the home page. Home page. And it's right there on the. If you scroll down, you'll see it. Pink cans. Pink cans. Scroll down, and you know sometimes you just need. You just need something like this. You just print it out, 8 by 10 black and white, or however big you want to do it. You know, you, that's all, okay? So we're going to take something like this, and, um, and I want to take, uh, here's our Sorel uh, transfer paper. We can't find the new pa package. We've got a brand new package. Nobody knows where it is. This is, this is Undoubtedly, the, the bear is using it for something. We, we don't know, but we've, I, I was thinking, because I don't feel like doing an underpainting here, so we're just going to take some red, I think. Hopefully that will show up, some red tr transfer paper. And the secret is, you're just going to take a... Did you find me a pen? Oh, did, that's right. You asked for that an hour ago. I did, but... And you really wanted it. I thought you were well, kidding. Well, I did. No, well, you know, here's the thing. The reason you want to use a pen is you can see where you've been. Um, so if I take... Thanks, John. So if I take... A, well, I want to tra transfer it on here, not the, not this. We already have the painting on this. So <laughs> let's try to... <laughs> let's just try to all be on... Uh, all the cylinders should be firing tonight. Give me, let me warm up a little bit, you know. <laughs> okay. So anyway, we want to thank you for joining us, and we really appreciate it. We had a great time last night, um, and I would show you what we painted last night. John insists it's around here somewhere, but I'll show you in a minute. I don't see it. I don't know why you think these things. What we painted, I, the Bird of Paradise last night was really one of my favorites that we've done. See, you're just looking going, did you want the Bird of Paradise? Oh, well, under here. How could I have reached that? So this you're is what... You're the one that laid them out. No, I, I just stuck. Order. No, I just threw them over there in a pile. Just I took a 
the later. Like he's, me, he's hysterical, he's later in order. order. Anyway, this is what we did last night. If you haven't done this, you can freehand this in. This is great. You don't need a traceable for this. But we, we thought we would just for the, for the purpose of expediency. You like that? Expediency. Ooh, big word. Yeah, expediency. Big word. Yeah, well, I don't try to get too far over your head, but this is it. That's right? And, close, and listen, so if I can spell it. We've got some fabulous news that's coming along, too, that we will share with you as we go. I don't know if you guys heard it or not, but my daughter, Cinnamon, the Archerpa, you know, has for the last year been working on these, this fabulous new line of brushes, and we're going to debut some here tonight. And, um, Ooh, it's I, a and debut. She, she gave me a whole bunch of sets to try, and I have to tell you that we'll, we'll be trying them over the weeks to come, but I didn't want to overwhelm you with stuff. And, but I'm so proud of her. I mean, this is a big deal. You know, this is huge. And, and she really researched it, and she had these brushes. You know, in her sets that 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 I, as an acrylic artist for 50, you know, 50 years, really appreciate, and I know you're going to too. And I'm gonna, as we're talking about that, I'm gonna put the red uh, paper down here like this, and I'll tell you. And one of the things you want to do is just test it to make sure it actually works. See, does it? Oh, you know what we didn't do? Is sand the paper. So we got to do that first. The, the canvas. We got to lightly sand the canvas. That's really important. Now, okay, so you're saying, you're saying, well, this is all very good, Ginger, but I owe no transfer paper. Now what? Well, what you do is you take some soft chalk in a color and smear the back of, the, of what you're tracing and then use that as transfer paper or a separate piece of paper and use that just like you would carbon paper. That'll work, too. You don't have to have transfer paper. You can, you can make your own, by the way. We're just... It's a little more messy, but you can do it. All right, we lightly sanded that. That's so that our paint will be smoother and our brushes don't wear out. And I'm going to close this down. I'm going to do a little test here. Did it work? Yeah, it works. It still works. So what I wanted to do here, so I mean, these were pretty easy to draw. I mean, they're like little boxes. I mean, with a little kind of a curved lip on the Oops. Curved lip on the <laughs> bottom here like that. <laughs> Oops. Oh, they're really easy to use. Well, I mean, just saying. They are. Okay? Because, I mean, it's acrylic paint, you guys. So, um, I mean, with a circle and a, you know, a little tubey thing, these are not tricky, but, um, but you may feel they are. So we don't want, you, we don't want any stress here. Painting's supposed to be stress-free. Yeah? It, it's supposed to be relaxing, get in the zone, start painting. Um, one thing about it, we had someone comment on my Facebook page that they were, they were in the art doldrums. The art doldrums which basically means that they lost their mojo when it came to painting and just feeling a little blah. Stuff they were doing wasn't coming out as they envisioned. And um, I'm going to come out with a new uh, video on that next week. <laughs> and the um, title of it's going to be At Least Seven Ways to Tell If Your Artwork Has Gone to Hell in a Handbasket. Can you say that? Can I say that? <laughs> I don't know. I I'm just kidding. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure we can say that. Well, I just did. I don't know. I'm just kidding. But I'm just saying, you know, sometimes, you know, seven early warning signs that yeah, your you artwork is, is tanking, right? <laughs> <laughs> How's that? So um, uh, anyway, we may do a video on that. I'll let you know. But it's sort of, a, we got to chuckling about that in the car. Things that, you know, we could, we could you know, could we say, could we say on the air if we, if we did one like that? One of my favorite ones was, you know, you're in trouble when you're, when your mother looks at it and says, oh, honey, I think that looks good, and sighs and walks out of the room, you know, you can, okay, or it probably isn't. All right, so here's my watering cans, you see that? And I'm going to come up here like this, pushing pretty hard. And the rest of this is, you know, the rest is flowers, so we don't, except for these flowers up here, I'm really not being too, uh, you know, I'm just knowing I've got some flowers up here. I just wanted you to have the watering cans on here, if that makes sense. That, that, that's all I wanted. We can't see them all that well, but you'll get the idea. So here's the transfer paper, and I'll try to remember to put it back. Where did I put that? Where did I put it? Use. Oh, the box. Oh, you buried it for me. Thank you. Um, I buried it. Something. It got buried. All right. So in this goes like that back. And it comes in. I like this because you can use these sheets over and over again. And uh, they, they're white. I don't can't find the white anymore. There's blue. There's yellow and well, and gray, which I I never did see the gray. Apparently it was in there, but I don't know where it is now. Okay, sorry about bopping that. Now this is just going to come off of here like that. See, we're we're on. Okay, so we're in come like on, flame. that was that was pretty simple, yeah. Very simple. All right, so can't. So here's what we're painting. 
in case you've forgotten. And we're going to put some paint I've got, out. I've, I've already got it in a picture in a picture form. Oh, good, because I still need it, but I can put my thing right here, okay? Yeah, you can get So keep, we're going to put some paint out. And again, if you're just joining us and you're new and you're saying, what are we doing? We're painting these watering cans. We're going to do it tonight. We're going to cross our fingers that we don't lose feet. Now, no, no, no crossing fingers. We, we, we talked to Comcast we, we last call, night. It took us. Listen, here's the deal, you guys. Let's just throw these people out of the bus. John <laughs> waited on the phone for two hours on hold. It's a good thing he had his phone plugged in, you know, the battery thing, you know, because who has a landline anymore? And he waited for like two hours, and then um, uh, he got some lady for about five or ten minutes, and she disappeared and hung up on him, and he didn't talk to anybody for another 30 minutes, and finally... Time goes on, and finally they s he explains the problem, what we're having, where we've just been losing feed. And incidentally, should this happen, we'll go ahead and record the whole video. It will be on our website. So these comments about you just disappeared, well, we hope we've solved that. Because the guy said, oh, we're so sorry. Well, tell him what they said, John, because I thought it was extraordinary. Here comes the thalo blue. As you tell him uh, that. He, he said to me, well, it appears that you, your updates are set for between 7 and 10 p.m. And we happen to be doing updates right around 9, 9.30. Eastern time, yeah. And, I, and, you know, where it's affecting our feed. And he goes, you know, we're very sorry. We'll try not to do that. I go, what do you mean try? There's no trying here, buddy. Yeah, so we, we'll have to see how it goes. He, he assured me that today's performance will be uninterrupted. So, can you imagine they're updating us right while we're trying? So when they update us, of course they shut our feed off. So then you just go, and then we can't get you back. You know, the only way to get you back is we'd have to stop the feed, and restart up somewhere, and then combine them, we, put them back together and again. And we lose half the room. Everything. There'd be no point in that. So there's some yellow oxide. Here's Usually some it happens aluminium. when we're very close to the end. So. Yeah, but I'm just saying, so yeah, because it was closer to 9 o'clock, see? So this is what they were doing. So anyway, we're glad, um, you know, we've been buying upgrade things like mad trying to fix this. It was them. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah, so we'll send everything back and we'll go back to just, square one. No, we're not going to send it back. I'm just saying I feel like sending them a bill for all the stuff we've had to buy trying to, you know, throw it. What was it? Who was it said that to me one time that you don't want to just throw money at stuff? That's my first... No, I didn't get an employee ID. I could barely understand him. He was a foreigner. When you call late at night, you end up um, overseas. Yeah, probably Bangladesh or somewhere. Who knows? Yep. But um, we ended up somewhere. And, you know, listen, it's nice that they have 24 hours a day service because a lot of times you call up somebody and they say, oh, I'm sorry, everybody went to lunch. Good luck with that. Just, you remember those days? We all left. Sorry, nobody can talk to you. Or our computers have been down for weeks. We couldn't possibly tell you what's wrong. I don't know how many times. So things have gotten a little better over the years. We're all very expect instant stuff. I mean, face it, we want instant stuff. Here's some burnt umber. That was burnt sienna. We want some cad red medium, which I think we put out somewhere. Yeah, here's something like, it looks, maybe looks like that. We put this out of the way, get the paper out of the way. Had red medium. Yeah, here we go. So we've got some paint out there. Let's see, we want some Dazzling Purple while we're chatting. And again, so welcome, everybody. Like I say, listen, this is the big deal. My daughter, the art sherpa. Ha -ha, oh, wait, wait. I, I can bring up the actual picture. You can hold off, hold it right there. Yeah, yeah. Put, bring this. the picture up. Okay, well, this is the set we're using. It's called the Explorer set. And what, what it basically has is you have a bristle on, then you have ones that are called Cambridge, two Cambridge, and two... Uh, ruby satin silvers, and then a little baby one, which yeah, they call so they, uh, the ultra mini. Yeah, that's a, uh, and that's this one right here for fine detail. Look at that for the fine detail. Isn't that cool? Boy, and nice. then I've got we've got the um, we've got so the ruby satin silver here, the two ruby satin silvers, you know the brights, and then we've got the the two you know the these two. Those are uh, called the Cambridge. The Cambridge, Cambridge line. which are which are really nice size bright brushes. They're made by silver, and then you've got the nice big bristle on. So I thought those were sort of cool. We thought we'd play with those a little bit. And, of course, I still There's a close-up of, of the actual brushes. And, and the brush guys, if you go to W, they're just now, stores are just now getting these in. Yeah, but we got you, a link for it. And we have a link to the brush guys, and if you just ask them to order them for you. Yeah, they're taking pre-orders right now. They're taking right pre-orders right now. And as they come and, in. And you can use the ginger cook, all one word, as, uh, uh, ginger cook, uh, all one word, doesn't have to be, you know, lower cases matter, and you'll get 5% off, which you do on any of the brushes you order from them if you use my code. 
So we, you know, we, we appreciate that. And they ship all over the world, which is a cool thing. And I mean, these are just some of the brushes. She has a lot of different sets. What happened to my purple? I had purple. Yeah, no angles in that set. No, there's no angles. You still need your angle brushes, and we still will use some, but there's no angles in that set. But that's a really good basic. If you had a couple of angles on that brush set, you would be really good to go. That's a really nice brush set. Lynn's Lin asking, which brushes are better than your angle brushes? Well, the thing about it is, is that you wouldn't, you know, when you're, when you're, when you're painting with big things, let me just show you my little, my thing here like this, right? When you're painting with, uh, you know, larger canvas, you still want a, um, a brush like this, right? And this is a, this would have been, um, I've been using the Bristolons for a while. This is a number 10. That's a good size. And these are good bright brushes too. These are the silver 10s. These are the, um, what did you say, the brain? These Cambridge. are the Cambridge, Cambridge right? Line. So they're probably somewhere in between those and the ruby satin silvers, okay? So, she, you know, and here's our, you know, ruby satin silver ones, okay? Now, also, if you have a half inch and a three eighths inch and a quarter inch angle, those are my favorite for just cutting in detail. But th this is great, and um, so I'm excited about these. I think these are, she really thought these out when she put, they put these sets together for her. And so, um, all right, I had some Dawson purple. And I don't see it, and I'm I'm getting Did annoyed. Did you take it over to the other studio? I may need I I may need you to help me find some purple here, cause I, uh, I, cause I'm not seeing where it is in the box, and I don't know what happened to it. Did we we use purple last night? I know we did. Well, I don't need it right this second. Well, I do. So where did the purple go? All right. Well, John's finding the purple. I'm going to just take a little bit of pink and outline these uh, little pink chalk here and outline these uh, watering cans a little more so we can all see them here. I want you to see them here like that. Here's my circle like that. Okay, just want you to see that. Sometimes it, it, the, this, this transfer paper will be fine for you, but it may not show up enough, so I want to just do that. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to take one of these little uh, bright brushes. This is the um, number four. It's a good size. You see any purple yet? I do not. And I dropped that on the floor too. I'm going to pick that up. Yeah, thank you. Oh, here it is. Is this it right here? Yeah, it, well, see, I just didn't see it. That's why of I asked you to not. help me see it here. It was sitting right there, but you know, purple and blue, they're, they're similar, right? I mean, you know, Same there family. it is. Okay, so now let's take, let's, what we're going to do is a little bit different than what we normally do. We're just going to take some, um, uh, some uh, magenta. And we're just going to uh, just do a coat of paint on the magenta. It's kind of an underpainting for these, all right? So we come around here like that. Boy, this has a nice edge to it. I like it. We've already rinsed the sizing off, so it's, there's no water on this. This is just uh, the brush in the paint. But magenta is a rather translucent color, you know? So that's, that's sort of interesting. We're going to come around here like this and just say, here's our... Um, this is the Cambridge brush this you're using? A, this is the Cambridge, okay? And I'm going to just put my, I'm going to bring this up a little higher here. But you do have, see, I've got some very good detail on that. Look at that. See, there's the, the handle right there coming up this way. Because the flowers are going to cover all this, but we'll bring it up like this. And then I'm going to take a little tiny bit of white with that so that I can differentiate it from uh, the other stuff. Because I'm just, like I say, I'm just blocking this in. At this point, all we're doing is just doing some sort of blocking in of our picture. That's what you kind of have to do, is block it in. So this is kind of like your underpainting. Yeah, this is like we're just doing the underpainting. It's kind of one color at a time, but isn't that pretty? I mean, already, that, that pink is just gorgeous. You, can't, you have to buy magenta. You can't take red and white and mix it. Um, it, just, it just, you just won't get that. Um, for instance, I could take a little bit of cad red medium here for this one. I can just come next to it so you can see it, okay? And it's still going to be pink, but if I start with a little bit of um, cad red, and the reason I'm doing that, maybe a little bit of white with it, uh, I, I just need something on here, and, and that will help me get at least get this laid out. If I did it all pink, I wouldn't be able to see where I was. So I'm taking a little bit of cad red and magenta now and mix it together. For this part because again this is just the first layer I guess we could have painted these green it really wouldn't have mattered but we're painting them this color I just want to be able to see them and kind of blocking it all in I want these watering cans to be bright so we didn't want to paint them over anything dark there we go oh this is nice a wholesome nice paint good edge here 
the name of this brush set we're playing with is called the Explorer set. Yeah, Explorer set, and I really like it. Um, and it says, uh, you know, this is being sold around the world. I guess they've got them in Australia and they've got them in Europe, and there are uh, different languages on the on the on the box. So we want to just play with those. Um, you know, it's funny before Cinnamon got involved in this and getting these brushes, and some of the brushes that she's had done were made exclusively to to what she thought. Um, as an artist, she'd like to have in a brush. And really, uh, nobody's ever listened to us artists before with this brush stuff. Um, they just make brushes, and then we all adapt. And uh, in fact, at one point, I remember, she and I were talking a couple years ago before this all started, she had been looking for a better brush. You know, we're always on the search for the best brush. You know, that's like kind of like the fountain of youth here. you got a good brush. What brush are you using? I mean, I like these. But what do you got? you got something better, that kind of thing. All right? And... She talked to this one brush manufacturer who told her there hadn't been anything new in you know, like 50 years in brushes kind of thing. And I'm thinking, you know, that just seems dumb. I mean, everybody else on the planet, when they have a product, they're constantly up. Okay? Man, they even come up with new ways to tell you they've got a new improved toothpaste. I mean, you know, you wonder if they just don't recycle the same toothpaste and just relabel it. But they tell you it's new anyway, right? So, I mean, how, how could this be? Well, apparently, there's some of that. All right, we're going to get a little purple. Put it back here like this. I'm going to start layering in some purple, like that behind our watering can. A little bit of purple over here. I'm just kind of, I guess I'll put my picture here so I can see it. I'm going to come up over here on this side and do a little purple, okay, like that. Now, do, 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 there, oh, I like this brush, John, that's great. And I can come up under here, kind of where my, where I said those red flowers were going to be. Um, Trying to come up over here like that, okay? Now this is a result of not having enough paint on the brush, but see, I've kind of outlined those. And I'm gonna put a little purple here, like that. And you know, how a painting comes together, if it gets in this, this is what happens to people, it gets in this sort of ugly stage, and you're going, oh, why isn't this working for me? It's working just fine. All right, now we're gonna to switch to a little bit of burnt umber, and a little bit of burnt sienna, and a little white, we're going to and come I notice down you don't here. clean your brushes between. No, I'm not cleaning them. I'm not cleaning them. I'm just sort of all blending this in like that. See, like that? Then I, The most I might do is just pinch it off, get a little burnt sienna like this, and come under this way. So there's enough of this other color. See, there's always some color on your brush. That's the secret. There's always some color in the brush. And so you're kind of mixing on the canvas when you do that. So here's a little burnt sienna now. And I'll take a tiny bit of white with that and lighten that up just a touch. And I'm going to come in here like that. Anyway, so they started making some custom brushes for her. They even made her a custom toothbrush. I'll show you that, too. A special toothbrush to make spatters. And it's not, it looks like a toothbrush, and it, but it isn't a toothbrush. But it kind of works like that for spatters. And this was well thought out. And um, I'm really glad that she not only that she had the opportunity to do this, but that somebody heard her, that the brush, Silver Brush Company listened to her and heard her because, you know, there were a lot of brushes that she tried, didn't like, said that if this were different or if that were different, it would be better. And they really listened, which is extraordinary. Um, you, we see it sometimes on Amazon. I, you know, I say that with, when, pe when we, we started as consumers, started getting a voice on our products. When Amazon, I think they were the first ones to do reviews, weren't they, John? Amazon? Uh, I think so. They were pretty, you know, they were a key component of it. Yeah, okay. So hey, I'd like to thank Christine for the donation. Oh, gosh, Christine, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. For those of you who don't know what that is, this is, uh, by the way, this is Cad Red Medium I'm putting up here like this. <laughs> uh, the, the, this is when we do a live show, we have something called Super Chat. And apparently it's possible, only during the live shows, it's possible to just... Um, uh, to donate, you know, just you can donate as little as a dollar, can't they? I mean, you can donate anything. Yep. And also, if you have a question, it's called Super Chat. You can leave a question there with your donation. Not that we won't answer it if you just type it in. If we see it, happy to do that. I think I want a little red flower right here like that. I'm just going to kind of put a half of one there. Red's kind of nice over white, so you see that? And you're going, gosh, Ginger, I don't know. This doesn't look like the picture. That's good. I want you to see it doesn't have to look like it yet. You just have to get some color on here. Um, a lot of times when I'm doing personal art coaching, you know, the people just need to go one step further, okay? 
one little step further. That's all you need to do. It's just a little bit further. All right, I think we wanted some pink flowers over here. So we're going to come into this little group right like this and make some little pink flowers. I want to remind everybody while she's filling in some of these flowers that in four hours, our holiday special, the Christmas in July, will be over. Uh-oh. That's you're going to you can sign up for seven days for four dollars and ninety five cents on our website for over three hundred lessons. Over three hundred lessons are currently available, and also if you are a current monthly or yearly member, you can download the. Do you have that handy? The yeah, toy I've got shop? that. Yeah, you've got that. That's important to know too because we we did this especially for Christmas in July. We just didn't want to give you know people. We want to make sure our members got something. So this is a. A downloadable um, lesson. This is for if you're already a monthly or annual member. This is called the Toy Shop. It's part of our our uh, our Christmas Winter series, and and these other ones are going to be released later in Ju on July. Let me just move yeah, this out of the way. I'll show you that August. Sorry, <laughs> or July. The other July. August. Yeah, August. <laughs> I think you said you. They're all filmed. John just has to get them compiled and up ready to go for this in the store. But see, this is the gazebo and, and little church. Though you could make it a hotel if you didn't want it a church. And then this is the set. And we'll have, we'll have more. I wanted to make sure that we got our Christmas village in ahead of time, at least in August and September, so you'd have to paint this and get it all ready to decorate for the holidays. So anyway, these are the fun ones where you do on the gallery wrap and paint all around. And so any, somebody asks us, so where are these? these? These ones will be available um, you know, the middle of next month to, to purchase and download. This one's available now if you're a monthly or annual member. This is till tonight. Um, and then it's, it's going to disappear until 4 Black Friday. It was just a deal that we gave you and can own it. Now, somebody wrote us and said, I don't know how to download the lessons. When you go to Vimeo, you can download them. The first one you can watch. If you're not sure, use the Contact Us. We have a little video on how to do that on how to download a lesson. I mean, not everybody knows how to do everything. I mean, some people have no idea how to get a traceable to print out. Sometimes, did you know when you <laughs> what go What are you to, saying? Are you, are you saying that to me? No, I'm just, no, no. I'm just saying that this, uh, this, this came up. Uh, Pam last week said, she, you know, she's a computer IT person, but wasn't sure how the traceable thing worked. You don't, everybody's got their quirks. You know, you can use the um, open uh, image in a new tab and then put print. There's a lot of good ways to print stuff. But um, anyway... I mention that because uh, there's Sammy the Tech Bear. You know, you've been watching Sammy for you know a couple years now. Sammy's going to have his own YouTube channel, and all that's going to be on it are little short videos on tech technical stuff like how to get your you, how to be able to talk in the chat off from your phone or um, you know any of the questions that come up. John's made these little videos. And Sammy's going to just have a whole pile of little videos like that, that you know, five-minute videos that he's going to make for you guys on just techie stuff, you know, like how do I download from Vimeo or how do I do this or that or I've got an iPad and now I can't make it sh watch anything or how do I show this on my TV and all that stuff. So, all right. So, anyway, we want to thank you guys for that. That's kind of cool. Um, you see, this is still a little damp. Now, because we're re red is opposite green on the color wheel, all right? So how you keep your colors from getting muddy is not mix wet red and, and, and wet green together because that's a, just a hot mess, okay? We got away with purple a little bit because red and blue make purple. <clears throat> so everything here is in the same family. When we start going into the greens now, we have to dry, okay? So I'm going to take a second to dry. And... Uh, uh, just just a few seconds to dry, and John is going to mute the sound. All right. Oh, I am. And you want to you want to play a trivia while I'm drying? Do I want to play a trivia? Absolutely. Roll me a die. <laughs> all right. Let's just <laughs> there. No, it just keeps bouncing around, John. Here. Two. Is that what that says? Let's I wouldn't know, it. but I'm guessing. It's two. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to clean the die off again. Yes, we need it. Where's those little wipey things? My tub of towels. Dry. All right, while she's drying that, we're going to pull out a number two. I'll look at that. I want to remind everybody again, the holiday special ends today in approximately four hours. Four hours. It'll be midnight at um, Central Time. That's four hours from now. Um, Sammy is starting up his own channel so called The Tech Bear. And we have a YouTube channel. Let me pop that in there. He needs to have a hundred subscribers at least before he can change the channel name. 
Right now it's going to have a funny name. Thank you for the donation, Ms. Hunter. We appreciate that. I would like to be unmuted. What, what funny name? The, the Sammy has a funny name right now. Because he can't change his name until he has 100 subscribers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Please subscribe to Sammy, you guys. I'll be putting him in as friends at Ginger. It's not like right next to the Archer and Angela so that we can get 100 subscribers and then change his name. Because we think, you know, we're going to put the videos on there that we know you want to watch. That just little technical things that are helpful for, you know, for all of us. That um, John makes it, you know, I always tell him if I don't understand it, they're not going to get it either. Or some people won't. So. He always makes sure that you know that these are very very easy to understand how to make the, all the technical toys go if you all want right. to get to july special there's a link there it's also on the home page in the upper left corner it'll say holiday special all right now before we get too much further with all the green i realize that then this is dry too let's let's work on our watering cans a bit right so we've got um we kind of got a it's going to be lighter in here let's start with a little bit of uh of magenta now. Now we've got this dry enough. We're going to just go back with the magenta, okay? And this is our next layer of paint. And, and this is the trick. You know, the, the acrylics need to be layered. It is not, um, and if you're using like a, um, uh, you know, a student grade paint, then maybe you need to do it layer a couple times. You need to have enough, you need to have enough paint to work on. It, it, the, pa acrylics for some reason, and just get a little white on here. For some reason, they are happier when, um, now I'm using the side of the brush and making little circles here. They're happier when they go over a lot of dried paint. They just, the more paint, the easier it is to make, get, get them to do stuff. They, each, each layer binds to the other. See, I'm gonna say that this is the, see it's a little bit lighter in front, that's what I'm going for here. A little bit lighter in the front side. I'm gonna take a little bit of the cad red here and use that as a bit of a shadow. I didn't get a chance to read my question, so. You didn't get our, question. what's our trivia question, John? This is a what. In traditional representations of St. Peter, what is he carrying? What is he carrying? St. Peter and paintings of St. Peter. Huh, interesting. I didn't realize he ever carried anything, so. Huh. I'm going to give you a choice of three items. Okay, that's, that's good, that's good, because I wouldn't have, no, probably he's in his mother-in-law's dog, so what do you think he's got? Keys. <laughs> Keys. A lamp. A lamp. A book. A book, keys, a lamp, a book. Oh, gosh, you guys, okay. What so do you again, think he's what carrying? is what what is Saint Peter carrying? Keys, a lamp, a book. That is so interesting. So interesting. I don't just have any idea what the guy's carrying. I'm guessing that isn't he supposed to be the one that? Um, isn't John, isn't he supposed to be the one that St. Peter uh, in charge of the pearly gates? Isn't that what they used to say about I him? I believe he is. So wouldn't he have keys? That's what I'm thinking. Oh, you're guessing all of a sudden. Okay, we I'm have guessing. a book, 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 keys. That's why I I'm subscribe guessing. to Sammy, thank you. Keys, 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 a book, lamp. Guessing, guess singing a book, gay, keys, the book of life. Well, that's a good choice. Lamp, keys, key, book, 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 Michelle's book, Lynn's book. Deborah's book, Corey's oh, lamp, there. Ruth's book. No, Ruth's lamp. This is going by so fast. Well, Wendy. so so Ruth and thinks it's a book. Well, we got Kathy's book. Or maybe she book, knows something. I Susan's just guessed keys. 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 Peter had the keys to the kingdom. I think keys, a lamp, book, lamp, keys. Then no keys required for heaven, from Kathy. Susan says keys. Sylvia's Keys, Barbara's Book. Boy, you know, you guys are 50-50 on this. Yeah, I could, you know, because obviously, you know, it's not like we um, just sit there and said, look what that guy's got. Because, you know, in those old, old, old paintings like that, back, um, you know, most people couldn't read, you know, back in the time of, you know, the apostles and stuff. They, they, and then afterwards, like when the churches were first getting started, you know, 50, you know people couldn't read. And so when they started to... Um, you know, churches would put stained glass windows in and paintings were done, you know, with Michelangelo and stuff. Paintings were done to telling stories so that uh, for the people that couldn't, you know, couldn't read. Okay, it wasn't until the Protestant Reformation. Anybody read the Bible anyway, you know, that the people weren't, if you weren't a scholar, you weren't reading it. So, Ooh, so the the, all these things that were represented, the keys or whatever is in here, whatever that would be, right, would all have right, to well, be, we're, we're really what do you think on it is? One. So I, I'm guessing keys. What, what is it, John? Because I have no idea. I'm very curious now. It's the keys to paradise. The keys. Oh, I was right. I was right. You didn't <laughs> stump the artist. 
little bit of wine. All right, here. if you guess keys, give yourself 1,000 points. Hopefully well on your way to 10 million. Points. Okay. All right, we're going to come back over here with a little bit of paint, a little bit of red now. And uh, we're just doing red and white for this one. We want the, they're, they're both pink watering cans, but the we need. The traceable for this watering can is on our website. Go to our website, gingercooklive.gallery, and scroll down until you see the picture of the watering cans on the left side. Okay. I just so came see, up. I'm just doing a little white paint here. You zoomed in on this so people can see what I'm doing. I can I'm zoom in a little bit closer because my zoom works. I'm pinching the. I'm pinching the brush off like this and just sort of get I want it light around the, 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 uh, the little spout and darker in the corners like this. Just making it darker. So I'm using a combination of uh, Cad Red Medium and... Um, and you're still using a Cambridge brush. Yeah, still using a Cambridge brush. I'm liking it. It's, it's holding up well. It's, it's stiff enough. That's the trick here. So let's try a little bit of the... It doesn't seem to be as stiff as, as, stiff as the um, bristlons. No, but it's, it's, but it's holding it's, it's holding it's an edge, which is what I want to to do. So it's working, uh, like that. That's working. There you go. So that, all right. So this is probably has to dry this a little bit more. I want a little bit more magenta down in here, um, like that down here toward the bottom. All right. Now you'll notice that. Um, let's get a little bit of light. Can you on explain this side. pinching the bright? We have again. We have new people. Pinching hold the it, brush, no, you just right pinch there. it hold like this. Hold and up you pull a little off the you pull off the paint, extra paint, and then you work with the paint you've got. So you basically you're almost mopping it up. So you put a little paint on your brush and you pinch it and kind of wipe it off. Instead of going into the water, this is the trick. You do this. And then it's a little bit lighter here. So you can actually put too much paint, it's okay, then you just kind of wipe off the excess and then smudge around whatever you got on there if it's too much, and then you just mop a little of it up using just the side of your brush like this and kind of See how I'm blending that in? So it just all sort of blends in. And I want to take a little ultramarine blue and... Um, you're still you're just using titanium white tonight, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, still titanium white. And then I've got a little ultramarine blue here into the magenta to make that little shadow color. And I'm going to come on the inside of this like this, on the spout, like this. And let's see, I want this a little bit bluer down here. Now here's the thing. You see how this, this, this color and this color are almost the same? We have to lighten up the... Um, uh, ground a little bit here. So I'm going to take a little bit of white and a burnt uh, sienna like that and maybe tap off the excess. That's something you can do too. Take a little paint, just tap off the excess and come in here a little more white with that there. Now I want this a little bit lighter coming. I'll leave a little bit of dark under there. I want this light, just slightly lighter under the watering cans because they're, um, they're dark. And so then the the table's lighter, so then they show up, see? And then you take a little bit more of the burnt sienna, kind of wipe it off, and then this is your next layer. So I'm using the flat of the brush like this and kind of smudging all this, and it just disappears up into here like that, and on this side, okay, like that, so that it gets darker in the corners, and we'll take a little bit of purple and burnt umber and make something kind of dark between the two uh, cans like that. All right, so that's that's sort of how I've, that's about as much as I've got there. Now I'll rinse. Now is this, this is a light enough where I can take them here. Uh, what I want is a curved line under here like this. Now if this is crooked, you're not going to like it. So you may want to take a little piece of chalk and draw this back in or put your, um, um, put your um, trace, you know, your traceable back over this. Dry it, put your traceable back over it. But if you want something to look, um, that's still too wet right there. If you want something to look round, you have to curve this line. If you made it straight, mm -hmm. it would just look like a flat box. So then I'm going to just, let's just see what we can get with this. So I'm going to pinch this brush like this, see, wet it and pinch it. And I'm going to go right into the, the white paint on one side flat. Let's see what kind of edge we can get. Look at that. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Not like quite that. as good as an angle, do you think? Not quite as an angle. Here's an angle. Let's just do an angle. This is why you want an angle. So, you know, there's brushes that are good for, for different things, just like you don't use a spatula for all your cooking. A spatula is handy, but it's not the only kitchen tool. Make sense? So now I'm going to, here's my angle. And there you go, like that. And let's just, there we go. Like this. Ooh, I kind it's of kind of hard to do with the chalk, though, isn't it? Well, no, I just sort of missed. That was just oh. me. I just sort of missed. I, I, I'm doing that. Now, I'll take the angle and come up here like this. See, like this? And this is, this is, now look here. I've got the little light color. And I'll take this brush, which I just had, 
and take that and just smudge that out. Do you see, I'm just sort of... Um, can, can you tell us occasionally how much pressure you are applying? Yeah, I can. I'm putting that, that's quite a bit of pressure right here. You know, this is very light with the white right here on this little angle brush. That's very light, but I'm pushing pretty hard to, 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 to blend this out using just... I'm pushing pretty hard to smudge that in the way you'd blend chalk. See what I've got that nice light highlight there? And if, I want, and if I want to lighten this up again, like right in here like this, I could put a little paint there and then take the side of this brush and just say I want a little bit more of a light here by the front of the watering can like that. And then I could come back in here like this with maybe with a little cad red and magenta and wipe the brush off now because that's too much paint and just do this, see? So, you know, you can, you can again, the more you layer, the happier it is, okay? The same Sammy thing back over here. Sammy has reached 100 here. subscribers. Oh, Sammy's reached 100 subscribers. Thanks, you guys. 103. 103. That's what we need for Sammy to be able to change his name. No, we've got to wait 30 days. But we have to wait 30 days? Oh, this is terrible. It has terrible. to be active for 30 days. Active for 30 days. Wow. That's all right. You know, the subscribers, that's, that's a big part. All right. We need okay. those. All right, so we're going to come along. Um, here a couple like questions this. I'm going by about the brushes. How long do your brushes last when you're doing 18 paintings? We're doing 30 something a, a month. Yep. 30 to 40 month. And how do you take care of your brushes? Well, the one thing you want to store them flat. You don't want to ever put, um, well, particularly when they're, when they're, you never put a wet brush up in a can like this because that'll just ruin them faster than anything. You know, it's funny, they sell these brushes and they don't really give you a lot of instructions and brushes that you know what you're supposed to do with them you want to um you know little tiny pointy brushes you want to wash and never live sitting in water because they'll bend and it's hard to get the bends out so that's you know one of the things and you want to use a good brush soap um that's you know there's one that that's on the market i think we have it over there john can tell you what it is you want to really wash your brushes wipe them wipe them get the water out of them and leave them kind of flat you know yep, what I mean? leave them flat to dry Leave them flat to dry. Let's just do this. We're just playing with the water and cans. The flowers will go really fast, you guys. All right, so the other news, we've got this. So we're excited, excited about Cinnamon's new brush line, which is a big deal. I'm very proud of her for getting that to happen and also for getting all of us these great brushes, which is really important. I'm always looking for the next best thing. Um, and I know you guys are too. It's just sort of nice. Here we go, like that. So. I've got a little bit of, so you see me pinching that, and I just want that a little bit lighter here on the top of that um, spout there, okay? So as, as time goes on, I may put some more colors on these watering cans, and, but, that, but they're good enough for now. Does that make sense? Well, let's do this. There should be a dark little line under here like that. Kind of your shadow from that. Kind of get the shadow from that, and I kind of screwed that up. That's all right. See, what if you screwed it up? Well, then just paint it out and fix it. There's no messing this up, you guys. There you go. The one thing you notice that sometimes I will hold my body, I will pull my arm still and just move my whole body. If you watch I, my hand in the video, it's it's you kind of what you do. Can you shoot back up to me for a second? We're, we have you on twenty four seven. Well, look, you put your pinch your arm, your wrist, and your elbow and everything tight into your side. And then move like that, and that locks your arm. And particularly if people are having trouble, you know, sometimes when you get. <clears throat> Certain illnesses cause uh, your, your, maybe your hand or something to shake. It's not steady. That um, you well, know, that can happen to anybody. And you know that's a good way. You kind of lock your arm in. Some people will you know will hold both hands like this, and do it. But instead of trying to move your wrist, lock everything and just move your body. That's the trick. Good to know, right? All right. So we're gonna leave those sitting there for a minute, and let's make some. Um, let's see, I forgot this has to have a, I don't know why I did that, don't ask me. I've got to have some better red here, like that, okay, there, happy. All right, rinsing that. Now we're going to make a dark green color. We're going to start with ultramarine blue and a little yellow, maybe some phthalo blue in there, okay. So far so good, yeah, okay, I'm liking it. So we're going to come up here like this, and I'm just going to sort of willy-nilly you like that willy-nilly? This is like a little angle brush here. I'm going to come up here like that and put this dark green in like that. Now, this is, this is why I didn't want to do an underpainting because I wanted the opportunity to, um, this is dry enough, yeah. So if I wanted to say there was a little, um, you know, something that maybe came over the watering can, I could do it. But here's the top of this, and I'm saying this is green right here. 
this is all dark green and the light colors go on top this is the secret to painting with acrylics the dark colors go on the bottom the light colors go on the top and you don't paint light green and then go back and try and get dark green okay all right now I'm going to come back into the little bit of the purples back up in here and blues and make this darker up in here and just sort of blend all this out because this is the sides of this like that and then over here like that we'll take a little bit of white and ultramarine blue come up here like that that's kind of this blue sky color then pinch the brush you see, notice that I didn't um, do much of anything and I'm going to come back up in here like this with the green and suggest there's going to be some green leaves now my leaves are actually going to be painted the definition of the leaves will be from the light green not the dark green the dark greens up here just as sort of an underpainting we're just going to come off the top of our canvas like that like that so people would think I know this is sort of a backwards way to paint something but you know there's a lot of different ways to paint something here's a little phthalo blue and white I'm going to just put that up in here like this and tap this out so this just sort of we're not talking about this did you, you like say, did you tell us the second news oh did I I forgot no I didn't tell the second <laughs> news I get really there's a lot of things to tell you guys all at once the second news right second news we have is that our um, our art auction started uh, it's going to run for two weeks. People, you know, often say, what do you do with the original paintings? Weeks. And we've got, um, uh, yeah. Just August look, 15th. August 15th is when it ends. We just started it yesterday. And what's neat, it's on our website. What's neat is that, you know, we do a lot of these paintings. I mean, our walls are just filled with these. And a lot of artists will never sell them. You know, they just keep them forever. And, you know, at my age, I'm going to sell them. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> we're, we're selling them. And... Because uh, we have, sometimes we have duplicates, like for instance, these little six by eight canvases that we do for our small lessons. This is on real canvas. This is, uh, you know, Lavender Field. We've got um, this, I love this one with the, um, with the desert oh, the, scene. Yeah, the, That's the, one. The these desert. are lessons from our website. And there we start, uh, we have over 300 uh, lessons on our website, which is, I think, absolutely cool. And all kinds of different ones. This is one of my favorites. It's from, uh, uh, it's in France. It's one of the canals in France. And you guys certainly have got to remember this one was one of our good, really awesome lessons on YouTube. It's called Rose, uh, uh, Rose Gate. And, you know, with the, I love this lesson. This is a full-length lesson on YouTube. You could be watching. Anyway, that's one of them. This was at uh, our, our French Fall Village. That's one of my favorite. Also was made into a puzzle, that image. Um, oh, that's right. This one doesn't go there. Um, Anyway, I won't show you them all, but you've got the idea. That, that's some of them. And then we have some larger ones. Those are the small ones. And look at that. I mean, do you guys remember this, tangerines? We've got the whole kitchen series. If you were able to bid on all of them, you could get the apple, the tangerines, the, uh, the cabbage, and the cherries. And they all go on these cutting boards. They're absolutely gorgeous. Of course, you could always paint these, too, you know, for yourselves. We're not saying not to do that. You could paint them for yourselves. But if you think that's something you might like to do, and then I... This was inspired, this is a lesson we actually already have on YouTube, so you could paint it yourself, or you should just want to, you know, take a chance to maybe bid on this. This is a, 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 this cute little dog was inspired by my daughter, Cinnamon's dog, that she got for the puppy they got, the kids got for Christmas, named Trix. But anyway, so those are just some of the original paintings. We have over 40 to pick from, different sizes, and um, um, I think that's absolutely cool. So if you want to take a chance and look at our, uh, auction website and uh, uh, you just have to register nothing happens to you we don't put your um, you're getting an occasional email to remind you, know, you that we have an auction and that's it. That nothing, nothing that's other than that. only for auctions only for auctions it's not for anything else we don't you know if you want other uh, want other email if you signed up for the auction thing you won't you won't get other email from us will they or they maybe no 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 that I'm has to be another one that's no. sorry so here's my picture. Now look, you, you, we're a far cry from this. Now I want you to see it. we're a far cry, but we're pretty close on the cans, all right? I had to let that dry. That's why we took that moment, right? So what we want to do now is, uh, all right, so we know we've got some red flowers in here. and that's, uh, Thank that's, you, Claudia, for the donation. Appreciate that. Oh, thanks, Claudia. Gosh, that is so nice. So I'm looking in here going, do I need to do anything else to the watering cans before I get too crazy with the... Um, um, here's a little bit of, here's my little angle brush here. Here's my little white line here like that. I still want something kind of light around here like that. See how the brush just turns? You kind of spin it to turn that. That's kind of neat. These a, uh, these little ruby set and silver short angle angle brushes are the bomb. 
But to answer your question, they do. I wear brushes out, and I go through them. I go through a, a set of these angle ones about once a month, wouldn't you say? Oh, easily. Easily, because I wear them out. But I don't throw them away. I just use them for other things. I'm kind of a brush hoarder. <laughs> I just keep them for other things because I'm. Uh, there's always got to be good for something else, right? All right, so now we've got this green. Let's add some yellow to this, the one we did for the background, a little white. And let's make a light green. Do you see how we did that? I've got the palette in the right place, and that, that's a cute little green. Now we're going to use this angle brush, and we're going to just uh, create some leaves here like that. That looks like a half inch. Half inch, yeah. Okay. okay. And I'm just going to come in here like that and just say, here's a leaf like this. Maybe something is up here, over here like that. And uh, maybe down here like this. I don't have to talk about the top of the can. Okay. How about over here? We got something here. Now I'm going to, we have to redefine this flower, but um, I think we decided I wanted some sort of leaf under here, some leaves here. And then I've got some real cute leaves back here in this pile, back in here like this. We're saying there's some leaves coming off. I'm going over the red a little bit. Miss Swiss makes a comment. I love Ginger's brush strokes. Is there a tutorial on your brush strokes? Um, well, kind of. <laughs> yeah, there is actually. Um, we did a. Um, we just did a, a back to basics video on on. Uh, you know how to you know how to get your brush to you know work. Okay, here's a. Th these were some. You know what kind? Of, what are these flowers? You guys know what I'm talking about. These are these. You know these um. You see these, I forgot what they call these, these little flowers here. They almost look like geraniums. No, 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 no. These are not geraniums. These are oh. not geraniums. No, 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 no. Oh, these are, those, those aren't geraniums. No. No, these are something else. I've forgotten what they're called. They're something else. But anyway. I'm sure somebody can tell us. Yeah, but the, anyway, you see them a lot. Um, well, I do. It's, it's all right. So here's a little bit more white with a couple of those like that. See, just all we did was add a little bit more white to the green. Now we're going to come up here and add a lighter, um, maybe a little bit more yellow, but another lighter color, a little bit more white here, like that. Okay, like that. So already it's getting kind of cute, right? And I might put a few little leaves down here, like that. Uh, what else we got? Maybe something off the side of this, for sure, something up here. Don't want to talk Pansies. about the handle. No, these aren't pansies. These primrose? Primroses. Primroses. Those are primroses. Ashley, give yourself a thousand points for that. Wow, those were primroses. I knew I wasn't going nuts on those. Those are primroses, okay? So now I'm going to say that these are, um, take a little bit of magenta and white here. I'm going to go say these are, um, now I'm going to make, see, now we're gonna actually going to define these. See that? I'm going to say that there's a flower here. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, you can have sound effects. Do you like them? There, like that. A little bit of white, a little bit of magenta. Let's say here's another flower here, a little petal. Okay, so that's those right there. Now, what I need is some white paint, like this. Here we go. And we'll come back in here like this. Uh, this is what we call very loose, a very impressionistic painting, very loose, but I like that pink color. This is one of the things I like to do is I, I like that pink color. Where else could I put it? I might like a, still like a little bit of light pink right in here in the center of these. So I'll do that. Now I'm going to pinch the brush. Where'd that other little nifty brush go? This one. Now I can still use this stiffer brush to take that and blend it. That's what good stiff brush is for. Look at that. See? Look at that. How that'll just blend that out there. The same thing here. I'm going to come back. I'll keep working. As things dry, I will keep working on my uh, watering can. Say I want something a little bit lighter right here. Got to put my picture where I can see it. Where's this? All right. So, all right. Now, now what? Let's see. A little magenta or so something coming under here. I want a dark line. Pinch it. Dark line under here like this. Dark line. Let's see. Magenta and maybe a little bit of purple. That might be good. And we're out of magenta. So how did that happen? Well, look oh. at those pink cans. I think that's yeah, that's how it happened. It's too. coming back to me now how it happened. <laughs> but I mean, you can see how it's coming together. It just takes a little bit of paint. It's layers, you guys. So don't get discouraged because you know it's always going to look kind of funny before it looks good. That's the thing you got to understand. Well, because you keep blocking everything in, then you start fine tuning it all. Yeah, that's what you have to do. And if you get enough paint on, then it starts to look right. You know, then that's all you have to do. Is you have to get enough paint. 
And I think there was a little dark line above this one too, so we just put that there underneath like that little dark line, little dark line, like that. And you see, we always see me pinching the brush like that, okay? Now, rinsing the brush. Now, I need a little bit of purple up in here, so I'm going to take some purple and white, like that maybe a tiny bit of ultramarine blue, white, make this sort of purpley color. And I want to say that there's a little violet up here like that. Okay, I'm going to go over there like this, a little violet up here. Maybe you're only going to see that one. A little bit of blue, purple, and white. What, was the, uh, what was the name of these flowers again? These were primroses. Primroses. All right, and I'm going to say that there's a little purple violet one up here like that. Just, okay, and then maybe down... Down under here, we've got one, two, three, four. A little bit more purple. It's getting a little too much white in there. I don't have enough variation. And for sure, I had one in here like that between these two. A little purple one right there. And I've got a little purple one kind of hiding there. Okay? Already looking cuter. Yeah? Yeah? Good? So, um, something. So, anyway, that's what you've got to do. Is you've got to dry and kind of look at it, dry it. Maybe hold it, your picture up to a mirror, come back the next day. And the other thing is, is you are a monthly member of gingercooklive.gallery. You get personal art coaching. And that can make all the difference in the world as far as whether you're stumped on a painting or not. Because sometimes, um, honestly, as a professional artist, um, I used to have my friends come over and look at my pictures just to see if they saw anything off in them I didn't see. The problem is with that is that sometimes your friends, either they won't tell you or they'll tell you the wrong thing because they don't know. And so having, you know, having somebody that kind of knows, not that, you know, that can, you know, look at it with the, particularly if you're doing a lesson that, um, doing one of my lessons, and I can look at it and say, well, that's really good. If you made this a little darker, this would look better. See that kind of thing? Uh, here, let's put a little shadow under here like that now. See what we're doing here? See, kind of you're giving it a little depth. So that's one of the things that can be, you, you can find very, you know, very helpful is that that kind of thing can be, I, I think, really nice to have happen. Um, now, there's two different kinds of reds. We only put out, um, I'm going to put out naphthal crimson because we just had cad red out, and I'm going to put a little naphthal crimson out. That's your primary red, and uh, it didn't need anywhere near that amount of red paint, but it all squirted out of the tube like that. Don't you hate that? So here's some red now. We're going to play with this. It's our second coat of red. We're going to start putting these flowers in like that's more of a you know primrose shape here and um here all right i'm gonna say those are my primroses and this is my second coat of red and i've got a little one tucked over here somewhere don't want to talk too much about it but there it is so we've got that one and i might have a little primrose flower kind of falling down here flat on the ground see so far this isn't looking too shabby it's pretty easy see it's coming together now right starting to come together now you're feeling it right everybody's going what is she talking about well i can see it coming together okay now one of the things i want to have happen is i want some funny little white flowers now can i um can i get these in here like this so like here's the corner of this brush one two three four let's just dot 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 do, 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 do. What brush i want you? a smaller brush i was gonna say it looks like a pretty big what yeah let's let's try this one let's try this new one this is number four bright so let's try that one yeah, I saw. I look at that one. Looks like a yeah, nice size. Right. Let's try this because we're just making some tiny ones here, and they're clumping. They're, they they touch you guys. Um, that that's the thing. They're not like stars. Okay. Sometimes it's nice to have just suggest a little something, and it's touching. Maybe you got a little something right here. It's touching. Um, I'm making almost like a little X, but there's really not much to these, right? That's pretty wet. Let's see. What can I do up here? A little bit of white flower right there. Touch a little white one over there. I might oh, suggest... Oh, you know, feet are moving around on me. I got you all zoomed in. There. Okay, well, I know I was over there, but I didn't need a lot more over there. I could take a little tiny bit of magenta now with that. A little tiny bit and say that there's a touch, just a touch on these of magenta. Just barely touch it. They're really white flowers, but I did a little touch of magenta. And then I'm going to take a little purple because I'm going to... We're going to define these flowers better now, okay? With, ready for that? I'm going to come in here like this and take a little bit of purple and make my little dark space right in here and just going to define this flower a little bit more. May have to dry something. That purple and red isn't as happy as I'd like it. Um, let's take a little bit of purple and say, 
Okay, let's just do a little bit on these like that, just on touch. That's a cute little brush. Uh, a little bit of purple right there. Okay, so I've done that. Now what? That was the number four, right? Yeah, that was the number four. Now let's see if I can't get a little more definition. The hard, the hardest part for me, believe it or not, was getting these stupid little uh, spouts round. So we'll try this. This is the number four. I've got the, and then it's kind of light in the middle, like that. So this is I coat. Um, I don't know four or five now that we're doing on this, but I want the inside it rim here to be darker than the outside. So here's a little white. See, you just put it on, then wipe it off, tap it in. Okay, now what I want here is I want a, a white edge going around the outside like this. Mm. Okay, like that, and then I'll take some dark green like this and come under here like this and put a little shadow right there on that one right there, a little shadow. Put a little shadow of green here. Okay. So you can always come back with another color. That's what people don't appreciate. If you're not quite getting it with one color, come back with another color. Here's a, we know we want a little bit of an outline in here like that. This brush is nice. Um, it's got a really good, this number four bright is really lovely. I want to come under here like this with a little bit of dark, the brown color. Whoops. There we go. Okay. So it just, it, you can't really, you know, if you think you've made a mistake, it's, it's just paint. You can just dry it and fix it. You know what I mean? So you're okay. So the spouts are looking better. That's actually going much faster than it did the first, the first time I did that. I probably spent 20 minutes on these dumb spouts. Really, honestly. I just was so annoyed with the spouts, I can't tell you. Um, so I want a little bit darker under this side of the spout right here, right there. A little bit darker right there. Okay, let's just straighten that up. And I, this would be a good place for a pen, too, a white pen. I promise you, that would be great for a white pen if you need a little bit of a better outline than you had. Okay, so let's take some white paint. And some yellow. Any questions I can answer while we're doing this? Uh, no. All right, this no, we've been handling them. White, white and yellow. Okay. And um, listen, we, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to our um, channel, we would love it if you would do so. Just a little bit of yellow right there. Now, this is not dry, so I have to be... Somebody said, how um, careful are you? <laughs> I'm careful because it's so just plopping dried. the paint. You're just plopping the paint on there, not yeah, really I'm mixing it. Yeah, I'm just sort it. of tapping it on there. I'm going to say there's some little primroses right there. And then, now that you're still using the number four ruby. Yeah, still using the four ruby satin. I haven't used. We haven't tried the little detail brush. We should do that for the rims, right? Yeah. And there's a, like a little bit of yellow here. Well, it looks a little green. Let's try it on the other side of the yellow. Uh, let's see, a little bit of yellow. Here that I like the purple flowers because they have a little bit of yellow too. Now this is really should be dry, but if I plop it, I'm okay. Just gonna touch and lift, touch and lift. See, touch and lift for that. Touch and lift. There. Otherwise, purple and yellow make kind of a gray color if you're not careful because they're complements. All right. So if I've got that going there, which I do. And I've got this going here. Then what I want to do is maybe I'll come back and make a dark green color with a little bit of phthalo blue, ultramarine blue, and yellow, okay? And make a dark green. And let's come back and let's trim. See? Oh, we well, you know what, John? We have to just stop and dry. We're sort of dead in the water until <laughs> we dry. I can't do another thing. I, I pushed the envelope. I can do a little of this. I green. was wondering how far you're going to go with that I, one. I'm going to put a few little green leaves down there, but... Uh, other than that, I'm going to... Again, this is a reason you do a save. Save as, right now you dry it, because you don't want the colors to go muddy on you. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. You don't want them to go muddy on you. So let's just take a minute. But it's looking pretty good. I mean, you know, see? I mean, I think we're pretty, we're getting closer. Yeah. We're almost done. I think this is fun. You can see how fun it looked like nothing at first, and then it really looks like something. So, John Well, we've will... made it to an hour and four minutes, so we beat yesterday's record. So if, if, if you could probably finish it, you know, if you had if to. If we disappear. <laughs> All right, so we're going to we'll keep going now. Here we go. All right, we've muted her. Um, thanks, everybody, for subscribing to Sammy's channel. That is really appreciated. The reason you're doing that is when videos get posted on the technical nature, you'll get notified on those. Um, other than that, the auction site should be working. It has been working. 
the browsers are really going through some changes right now. I know Chrome has not worked on a lot of people's websites. Um, they did an update, and our hosting people said they had to give up using Chrome because it was failing too many places. So keep that in mind. We've been going to Firefox. You have Chrome, Firefox. Edge does not work on our website. Safari will sometimes. So that's the technical news from the bear. Oh, yeah, and we just love it. Every, we wake up in the morning and something doesn't work because some fool has done an upgrade in the middle of the night on something, and it, then I'm going, where did this go? <laughs> and then John spends 15 minutes. You know, our website takes 24-hour day management. It's extraordinary. All right, let's make a... Well, we started with some darker green, right? What was I using? That little brush, right? Let's get, well, you're going to use the baby, yeah, the number, yeah, this, this, the this, number four brush. We, we want some darker green. I want to come in here like this and kind of, like, again, use this and sort of define my flowers now a little bit. You know, my petals? I can get a little bit more definition like that, see? They look a little bit more like primrosey because I played with them a little bit. And the same thing with these. I really have to have this picture here where I can see it. So you want, I might want a little bit of a green right there to sort of separate these two, like that, okay? And then here's, this is coming in like that. So you can, you can just, um, you can redefine your colors, you know, and, you know, just in your shapes, just by doing stuff like that, lights and darks. Now, if I took a bunch of yellow and white, let's see, it made this really light pale green like this. This is my next color. See, look at that. Isn't that bright and pretty? So here's that. I want something really bright and pretty up here. Supposed to, well, I mean, that's all pretty, but you know what I mean, right? And let's see, something up here like this. It's a little bit lighter up here by these dark uh, purple flowers because wherever there's a light, there's a dark. So if you want something to show up, um, either put, you know, if it's a light color, put a dark next to it. And if it's a, you know, dark, put a light there. See, so that's starting to come up. The, these, these just different greens. Oh! <gasps> I gotta show you what I made today. I'm so excited. Okay, other news. I have more news. <laughs> Wait a minute. You only said two pieces of news. I, I lied. I have more news. <laughs> breaking news. Wait okay, a minute. So ding, 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 ding. We've got breaking news <laughs> live breaking. from Ginger Cook's desk. I have more news. Okay, so this Friday we have a surprise for you. We're gonna be putting up a video. It's gonna be pre recorded. It won't be live, but pre recorded. And we did an abstract challenge with a um, artist that I really have come to admire. His name is um, my, uh, 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 Ray Grimes, okay? And he does ab really beautiful abstracts on YouTube. And I noticed and invited him to do a collab with me. So he and I are doing a collab on Friday. We'll both be releasing our artwork the same day. Do I have a picture of what I'm releasing? Um. No, why not? Um. Well, I've got a really neat painting <laughs> that we're going to read. Well, you guys ought to see it. It's really it's, cool. It's, it's really cool. I'm sorry. It's really cool. So, so I put some light behind some of these um, colors here. Okay. You can see it. Here's my, here's my um, abstract. Uh, your hands, look at your hands. Are they're they, fine. Are they okay. Yeah, they're fine. All right. This is my abstract. And it's, uh, it's actually uh, what we call a figurative abstract. When I painted it, you're going to see me how I designed it and everything. Uh, we did just... Three colors and black and white. Yes, we did black with this too. And uh, it's uh, the same one we did for the Monet challenge, which is the phthalo blue, cad red medium, cad yellow medium, black and white. Those are the three co colors. And look at all the colors we got in here. Aren't you, aren't you just amazed with that? And now, we're going to have a link to Ray's videos in, in, in ours. Ours. Go I really visit want his you to site. look at his stuff too. I think his, if you like abstracts, I think stuff is gorgeous. And, you know, you got to, look, there's just a few of us artists out here that, you know, want to encourage each other, that want to shout out and say, we think you're doing a great job, and I think he is too. And um, anyway, so this was my abstract, and it's actually a portrait of my sister, who, um, when Jeannie. she was young, uh, in her 30s, she started to, she stressed out a lot. She was always had stress, and luckily, when I was a kid, my mother just sent me to a therapist. She wouldn't go, and she started losing her hair, she had, and she had something called alopecia, and so by the time she was probably in her late 30s, she was just completely bald and used to wear these crazy hats and wigs all the time until she passed. Anyway, um, this, is a, this, a, this is called Jeannie. It's a, in honor of my sister. It's so this Ray, is a big, this, Ray Grimes, right? Ray GR? Grimes is yeah. the artist, yeah. And, um, and we'll be doing a collab with him. He'll be releasing a, a three-color challenge also. And this is a great, 
great color mixing uh, video that you're going to see. It's a little under an hour. I think you guys are going to love it. So that's Friday. Look out for that. You guys liked it. I hope people like that. D -d 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 -d. Thank you for the late breaking news. You're welcome. Back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> Don't you love John? He's just a, such a riot, isn't he? Now, red and green are compliments. So when you start doing stuff like that, see, then the red's all happy. See? <laughs> so, um, because you start, all right, we're going to get a little white here, kind of an off-white maybe, just almost a green white. Let's put, uh, let's just dab a few little lighter colors over here, pinch the brush off. Probably should just quit being so cheap and put out some more white paint. We're almost done, but this came out cute, didn't it? And we'll, I'll show you some other little tricks here with the little detail brush. But here, I'm just going to tap on. I'm just saying that there's some tiny little tucked in white flowers there. Maybe something up in here like this. Um, tapping in a little bit more white right there. Um, okay. Um, here. All right. So, so now. Okay. Now, now. Oh, you guys are so funny. What's funny? Well, What's you said saying you had uh, news, and then you didn't tell them what the news was, and then they were saying, well, maybe she's pregnant. You think she's pregnant? No, Sammy has a girlfriend. No, Sammy has a friend? No, <laughs> no, Ginger's pregnant. No. So they're going back and forth, and now they're figuring, who's pregnant? Because people are still coming on. What, pregnant? Who? Who's pregnant? <laughs> just, well, somebody asked me the other day if I was Angela Anderson's mother. Let me just dispel that rumor. I have Cinnamon's mother. With Angela it. and I are not related. Sorry. All right. So I've got a little bit of a light orange color here. Now, look, I'm just going to come up here and tap a little highlight on these these flowers here, too. You guys are just so funny. You guys are so funny. Am I pregnant? Are you serious? You know, um, that 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 ship sailed many years ago, <laughs> friends. You know, uh, back when I was, um, when Cinnamon was, I don't know, seven I went to the doctor and said, you know, I think this is it for me for kids. And they said, are you sure? And I said, yes. And I would like you to see that that's for permanent fix. You know, and they did. And I guess I have a hysterical story about that. Because, I mean, that was, you know, even back then when you don't have medical insurance, you want little things like that to happen. That doesn't happen. So I'm going around looking for a place that will do that. I, I love the story, right? And that, you know, isn't two or $3,000. And this is some years ago, okay? So you got to figure how long ago this was. It was still expensive to do that, and uh, but not as expensive as having another kid. And um, Cinnamon's dad was a challenge, and I didn't think we needed four kids in the house or whatever, <laughs> him and whatever the next kid would be because it was just already a challenge. So um, uh, anyway, so I found this place. We lived in San Diego, and I found this place up in Los Angeles that um, they did... Um, uh, they call them tubal ligations, and they t they did about I don't know six seven hundred a day or something like that, right? And it was like a lot cheaper. It was like the McDonald's for that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Drive through service. <laughs> kind of a fly through service, and so but you know so I went I went ahead and made an appointment. We had to drive up there like three hours in our motorhome to get up there. And I remember going in, and there was this waiting room full of women, you know, and. Um, and I'm thinking, okay, I could get through this. You know, it's okay. I think people do this a lot. They're probably good at it. You know, if something goes wrong, they'll know. And um, so then they, they bring you in, and they, I knew I was in a cheap place where when they gave me disposable paper footies, you know. <laughs> Back then, nobody did that. And I'm thinking, okay. All right. But anyway, we got through it and came home, and it was fine. And, you know, it was a, one of those things. So there's no... No chance of pregnancies. Just want to say that. But anyway, that was, I felt pretty lucky to have found them. You know, when you don't have medical, uh, your options are very limited. I probably could have gone to Tijuana, but I really didn't want to go down south of the border. Nobody spoke any English. So I have some great stories about that, too, going down there looking for things like sinks and things. All right, so you see we, my We flowers? want to go back to uh, Margaret. Who yeah. made a donation, and she gave us, thank you for all you do. Thank As an you. artist and instructor, I generally understand the time it takes to put it all together and hugs to Sammy. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate Sammy, it very thanks much. You. All right, you guys, this is the drum roll, please. Let me put my glasses on. What, you think you're done? Oh, wait, wait. Let me zoom in. Wait, wait. we got to get zoomers. Okay, now in case you're wondering, we marked all of Cinnamon's brushes with red. Hers don't come that way. We marked them with red so we could tell hers, okay? This is a 10 0 Silver Ultra Mini Shader. So I'm going to take, I want to, um, 
want a thin line and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some golden paint that's the flow stuff you know the one that the one that comes in a bottle yeah I know they're that liquid one. stuff if yeah. you need thin lines you know the heavy body paint isn't the thing so we're going to put a drop of that out and we're going to put the shader in there we're going to climb up on it now I want to just outline the tip around here oh my gosh is this nice or what this is like using a pen that is really looks like it's really going that on nicely. That is an awesome brush. That's worth whatever th whatever this kit was. All right, now get a little bit more just on the tip. I'm gonna bring this around. Wow, that's nice, you guys. And it still keeps it looking painterly instead yeah, of like instead a pen. Yeah, because a pen will a pen will look like a you know even the best pen still kind of looks like a pen, right? That was so nice. So let's just we're gonna put a little light highlight right here. The harder you push, the fatter the line, even on a brush like this. So I'm gonna put a little light here and a little light there. Same thing here, a little bit of a light highlight there, a little bit, kind of exaggerate the one here, okay? It's looking good, right? And then let's just kind of outline this like this. It doesn't, you don't have to actually go around the whole thing. You can go from like 12 o'clock to about 7 on one side and maybe just from 2 to 3 on another. Um, some, the idea that you have to do the whole thing is silly. You don't. You just have to suggest it. The mind will just sort of fill it in. See how it just sort of wanted to fill it in anyway? That's nice. That's a good looking brush. Now, one of the things I was having a terrible time with was putting the holes in the watering can. Let me just, um, let's see, that's not the brush I want. I want that other one that we had here, this one. that um, I, want a, I want a little bit lighter still in the center here. I want it a little bit lighter, so I'm going to pinch the brush off like this. Use the side of that now. See that? See how you can just, once you've got paint on, you're in good shape. Um, you can just, you can really uh, lighten something then, a little bit of paint, and then pinch the brush and use the side of it. And just like you were do blending chalk, see how I'm doing that? Just like that, you can do, so you've got the inside. Now I'm going to take this little brush with the magenta, and I'm going to go straight down, and I'm going to make some holes in this. In our can. I was having trouble doing this, and this is working like a champ. What were you trying to use before? Probably your angle? Yeah, I just wasn't finding it. anything that was small enough that was doing the holes that I wanted. Here you go. Just a few, just a few, you know, kind of random, you know. And uh, this I can kind of just, oh, look at that. You can really get this. Isn't that nice? There, see? So there's my dark line. Look at that. Oh, I like that. So this is done. A brush like this, you would never leave sitting in water, you guys. You would always just rinse it, pinch it off, and leave it lying flat. That's real important to leave your brushes lying flat. So, okay, so let's just do a quick um, spot check on our colors. Backing right? it back out. Just zoom back out. This is kind of cool, right? I mean, you're doing that. So um, I'm kind of, I'm just kind of comparing both of them now. And... Um, I might come back. Red's one of these crazy colors where a, another coat of red never hurts. Does that, you ever, ever heard that? You know, you know, here's the second coat of red in a couple places. And I'm just saying, it's either cad red or regular red. Look at that. See what it does? So sometimes you can just do a dab or two of red, and that will make a big difference. The second coat is, is the charm on that, something like that. And... Um, I want to go back with some dark, some dark green here. So I want to make sure that I have like a, maybe a dark, you know, kind of a shadow green color here. Remember, wherever there's a light, there's a dark. So if you sneak in somewhere with a little dark, sometimes that can be very effective. Like even right here, a little dark leaf, something a little dark next to this flower here, like that. Come back in there. Maybe just, just poke a few holes in something, you know, like that. A comment has come in that you see on your lower left, look on the original, see how you brought the darkness around a little bit smoother where your signature is? Yep. That right here on the, on the, you're talking about here? Yeah, yep, that corner. All right, so you can, yeah, you can absolutely do that because here's the dark and you can just bring that around like this, use the side of it, and then just come back up here with a little, we actually never used the yellow oxide. But we could have. All right, and come like that, and then just pinch it, and then well, blend the side like of it. Just blend the two. You can blend that out. And the same thing here with the magenta. Here's some magenta, and I want you to see that. Here's some darker magenta on the, on the, um, on this, right? And I can take. You see, I've got this line right here, which I don't want. So I'll put some white right there. 
Pinch it off. And just, you know, just pinch the brush off. Yep. And then use the side of it. Just, this is like almost using pastels. You can, you can get this sort of smudge like it's pastels, okay? And the same thing here. I might take a little more cad red medium right there and just put a little red under this one. And just again, now you're talking about hardly any pressure to start blending. Maybe just a little magenta with that too. Just want you to see how that would be. Okay, and just like that, you can say that there's some something lighter here, maybe something a little darker here. Um, that I I like how you know you can you can get all these different kinds of color tones. See a little bit of white right there, side of the brush, pinch it off. So then you're just working with the color you've got. Now I'm pushing hard there to get that kind of smoothed around like that. Okay, and also sometimes the, the other thing too is that you've got some reflected light on this side. That's this coming around from behind. So you can put a little light right there and come back like that. The little light right like that. And I might do just a little more on the handle, the magenta, maybe another little coat right here. So I'm not talking too much about it. Okay. So those are some tricks. You know, these are the kind of the tricks you can do to um, you know, blend. This is a good. This is a good blending lesson. We've had a lot of. We've got a coffee cup. That's a very simple coffee cup on YouTube. It's a good blending lesson. I think this is a really good. Um, this is a really good blending lesson. Um, let's take a little bit of peach here now. Let's just lighten up some of these here like this. Let's maybe lighten up a couple um, petals on that like that. There we go. Just wanted those a little bit lighter. But you know you don't have to get you get it, you don't have to go too crazy. You can take some magenta and purple, and white, and that can be nice too. Just up here like this, where you just kind of give a little those little uh, violets. You can give them just a just a t hint of a little bit of pink, in some place, like that, and then to kind of bring those to life. But um, you know, and as you look at you know you, you, as you look at yours and decide how you want to do it. Uh, you may need some other flowers that you want to put in. I like this right up here, the first one. I'm going to take this leaf out. I know that sounded funny, but I'm going to take that leaf out. Haha, <laughs> I'm going to take it out. There, this leaf's coming out like that. Because I just wanted that flower, a little more contrast on that flower right there. And I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller right here like that. See? So you can go back and kind of shade and do some stuff if you want to. And uh, let's see, do we want any pink flowers down here at the bottom? We didn't have them in the first one. We could do it in the second one. We could just, I always like a couple loose petals, don't you? This is what happens to all my flowers. They all end up down at the table like that. So, oh, and I was going to show you the pen. So if you were going to do a pen, I'll show you the difference. If you are going to do a pen, these are the Posca pens that we found that we really like. Do we have a link on those anywhere, John? Uh, not handy. So um, you, you, you punch, push them. Now look, I'm going to just show you the difference if I use the pen. You know, I mean, you can. You know, if you're having trouble with anything, you know, go get another tool. So that kind of works, and I think I could probably put some, if that's dry enough, I'll put the Cook Signature right here like this, like that. Put the little signature right there. And uh, then I like the pens. We put the red through it. So we got primroses, we got little, you know, little violets, we got some pink watering cans. These could have been purple watering. Oh, I think black and white would have been interesting. Could have done some fun things with the watering cans. Here it goes. There's the red slash through the name. Someone will ask why you do it. Here's this little, see if I wanted to just do a little red right here like that. With that I could. With the, you know, you can use these kind of things for details, which we really like. Did we get to use all the brushes? Well, I think we're pretty good got the idea of how these brushes work a good set we only had to use a couple of these we just really we used an angle brush we used the um uh, well, it was a painting without the angle brush uh, yeah the, we did an angle brush a little bit for the leaves but you didn't have to have it in this one particularly it kind of worked and uh again if you want I, I want a little bit more yellow up here i might come back with just a tint of now this is see nothing's happening see a tint of yellow see right in here in a couple of places. I might just brighten up now because acrylics dry darker. Remember yellow and purple are complements. So if I do a kind of a bright yellow green leaf like that. So there. So the part of me wants to, you know, do just don't do don't go crazy, but see, 
like I say, because acrylics dry darker, you can come back and touch up your flowers. And um, there we go. How cool is this? Well, oh. you're at an hour 24. Oh, we did great. Now, listen, for you guys that are members, uh, our weekly release, this is the lesson that will be on wait, our wait, website. Back out. Okay, uh, this is our lesson that will be on our website um, this week. This is uh, Orzi, and this is a you know, a, you know young Arab uh, filly, and uh, we've got this is a 10 by 10 canvas, and so that's for uh, every week our members get a new lesson. Some of them are one cookie, two cookie, three cookie, box of cookies. Um, well, speaking of box of cookie. Box of cookies. <laughs> here's our, um, here's a Venice. This is our Wave and Water Masterclass um, uh, painting. For, uh, they'll be released August 1st. That's every month that Wave and Water get one. So that's Venice. So we're doing that. So we'd that like is to, in 15 parts. Four 15, and a half yeah, hours. Yeah, 15 parts. Yeah, this is a fairly uh, detailed lesson. If you were doing it bigger, it would probably take you longer, right? Yeah. But we've got some great explanations on how to do this and, you know, showing the canal and the reflections and all that. So we thought that was kind of fun. So that's this one. There's Orzi. Um, please, uh, t you know, check us out on our website. This is the last uh, day to get your special week. you got three hours left. For four ninety five, try us out, see if you like us. If we seem like blatant commercials, we're sorry. That's just how it goes here, yeah. Because <laughs> we want to tell you about everything we're doing. We're excited, you know. We're trying um, to educate the world. And you know, and we appreciate. Thank everybody for the um, for the live chat donations tonight. That was really great. Thank you very uh, much. How many cookies is the horsey? Horsey. Uh, um, the horsey. I have the sheet. What'd you put? What did I say? Three. Three. Or, or see. You know, because look at if you, I want you to see this horse. Let's just think about it. Look at the watering cans. Wait, wait a second. I got to back back, back out again. Out, back account second. Look at the watering cans, right? Now you see how we learned how to blend these watering cans. Now look, it's it's blue and white, but it's the same blending. That didn't change. It's a bigger area, big different brush, but the blending's the same. Okay. There's some detail in the eye, some really beautiful detail in the eye. Okay. Let me zoom in but, on that eyeball. You know, I mean, look at this beautiful eye on this horse. But when you're thinking about painting this, right, it's not that different than the watering cans we just did. You can see our beautiful eye where we've got that kind of light in here. The eye almost glows, doesn't it? Isn't that pretty? And um, again, this is us, you know, we, we don't gloss over these. We, to every hour that it takes me, we film every inch of it. We don't fast forward anything. All the, some of our lessons are four hours long. This one, well, this is four and a half. This is four and a half from this one? Yep. And, I think our longest one was the eight hour of the wave and water one we did. Yeah, but again, we don't we don't try to speed it up for you. We give you every last brush strokes. And, and you our, get every mistake yeah, that it, she we, makes. And even this one we're doing this weekend, I had no idea what I was going to do when I did the abstract. I knew I was going to do some sort of face, and it just sort of turned into looking like my sister as I got going. But you're going to see how I made these decisions. I didn't have a painting I was looking at. I t totally came up with it. But this is a particular style of abstract art that's very popular today, and it's kind of tricky to do. But anyway, I mean, I love all the colors. So when you look at that type of artwork or say this is something else we teach on the website, again, the, the blending on this... It's all the same. On, the same is not that different on the watering can, not that different on these tangerines. You see this? Tangerines, different color, not that different. So once you get these skills down, you're going to find it's just, you know, sitting down and doing it. Now, it's a watering can and one cookie. The watering can is, uh, yeah, I think or, pretty much it's a one cookie. Don't you think so, John? I think it's pre it was it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty close forward. to one, one, one and a half cookie, something like that. Okay, just cookie and a glass of milk. You could trace it on. So just, you know, if you had to yeah. draw it on, I'd say it was a two cookie, but we're tracing it on. And for sure, that last night, um, last night what we did with the, with the bird of paradise, that's a one cookie. Yeah, that he, he, was. You know, for sure. But, you know, again, we did blending, didn't we? Did we get some good blending in here with this? So, you know, we keep building on the skills, building on your skills, and you, you just keep doing it and getting better. And things that do help are better brush. You know, having a good brush makes a difference. What if your brush is too soft, it's hard to do this stuff or if it scratches. So yeah. I've got to say, I really, really am enjoying the brushes from uh, Cinnamon. I'm uh, so glad that the Silver Brush Company decided to, um, to do Listen that with Listen to somebody. Her. Yeah, and really partnered with her and got... Because we all benefit. <coughs> and as I'm looking at this now, and you see this? I feel like this is a little wide right here. I can take a little brush like that, trim that down. Sometimes it helps to just look at these things, 
go back in the next morning and look at them with Final the fresh eyes and kind of hold them up to a mirror. That's a really good trick. We talked about that at 12 insanely crazy tips that you might want to have, you know. And, um, you know, look at that and see what you want to do. I might just take a... Uh, I'd like to thank Kim for the donation. Oh, gosh, thank you so much. And she says, thank you for all you do. Thank you very much. See, part of me wants to just change the shape on that flower. And, you know, I'm looking at this <laughs> going, I like a little flower here. What if I had, I got one, two, three, four, five. What if I had a, what if I had a little red something peeking out right there? Just a little spot of red right there because I felt like it kind of balanced it out a little bit right there. It's just tucked in here. We don't have to talk about it. It's back on the other side of the <laughs> well, flower We have to pot. talk about it because you just did. <laughs> I know. So I just did it. I'm just saying, this is what you want to do. You kind of look at that. See, I kind of like that red. Kind of like broke this. up that whiteness a little bit there. Yeah, just this is the, the things you want to do, and you should kind of look at stuff. Um, you know, if I was looking at this now, and I was looking at that. Now, Sam, let's just be honest with you. Let's just do a little quick critique. This feels, I'm just saying right here, this feels a little, this could be a little rounder right here, right like that. See so that why are you doing it with chalk? Well, because I'm seeing if it's true. So then I might take a little bit of white paint. Where did I say that went, right? And I might come up here and just, I could change that. This is, there's nothing written in stone about this. It's just, i got to put glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. There's nothing written in stone. So if I'm saying here's my light edge, right? We've dried everything. You don't wouldn't want a big glob like that. Now I'll come back under here like this with another color and round that out. Maybe you want to just uh, find something that's round and trace over it if you've lost your tracing and you're having trouble. So you don't want any flat tires, in other words, on your little spout. So that would be the one thing I'd say take a little care with. So you kind of rounded that back out. It was bothering me. So I don't doesn't have to bother me. I can fix it, right, like that. And it's just put a little dark under there like that. Okay, well, this was fun. I'm feeling good about our live videos, aren't you guys? I we think got we to an hour 31, and we haven't hiccuped yet. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. Please subscribe if you haven't. We appreciate you hanging in there with us. Don't be afraid to change your painting. Take advantage of personal art coaching. We're here to help your projects become giant success. And I hope you sell lots of your artwork. And if you do any of our videos, um, you know, more than welcome to sell the paintings that you do. Uh, we want you to be huge successes. We'd like to thank everybody. If Sammy has put his link in there one more time. Sign up to subscribe to him, and he'll be getting started on some videos here very shortly. Oh, and give us a list of things you would like John to make for videos, John and Sammy to make for videos, technical things that are challenging you when you're trying to do your art on the Internet. If you have a challenge that you're, it, you're just, it's just stumping you, it's okay. Don't be embarrassed. Uh, <laughs> John has a way of making videos. People can actually figure out what you're talking about. You know, That's what I really appreciated. When I first met John... And I was trying to figure out how we was ever going to do this online stuff. And we started off with a $350 camera and a table lamp, you know. <laughs> and I'm going, oh, I don't I know, John, this seems really hard. I mean, I can paint, but I don't know how to do this video stuff. And he said, and it was so reassuring, he said, we can do anything. And I'm going to say that to you guys. Together, we can do anything. We can challenge it and do it. Let's do it. All right, everyone. We'd like to say good night, Sammy. Do you have a message for the gang? Of course you do. Subscribe. That a boy. Always right there. Take the reference photo out. Ginger, we're gonna say good night to you. Palette cam's gone. Night everybody. Thanks for Ginger, Thank you. where's Ginger? Ginger's going. John's gone. Ginger, you're still on. Where are you? I give up. Where am I? Why am I on? Oh there you are. Night. Bye Ginger. Bye.